today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and save incredible text animations inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go ahead and learn how to create a follower keyframe, stacking those follower keyframes, adding more style to your text, and saving text to use in other projects. Watch till the end of this video because I'm going to take your text animations from amateur to pro. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new timeline by right clicking over here in my project timelines. Right click and create new timeline. You can also press Command N to create a new timeline. And I'm gonna use just my normal project settings, which I'll let you guys all see right here. Just a regular 4K timeline in my normal color grading setup. Head over to effects and I'm gonna grab a text plus effect and bring it into the timeline. Now a text plus effect is just a fusion text effect. If you use just the regular text tool right here, that's simply just an edit page text tool. So you can only use this within the edit page. A text plus allows you to use every tool instead of fusion on your text. So let's go ahead, grab the text plus, and head into Fusion. And I know Fusion can be incredibly daunting, but just bear with me. Fusion's actually a lot easier than most people make it out to be. We have our text right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick our template right here and come over here and open up the Inspector tab. We have all of the attributes that we can use for a text animation. I'm gonna go ahead and just change this really fast to the text that I would like, which is Momentum Extended. This is just kind of like the text that I use for basically everything. And this gives you all the options that you can use to animate your text. Now, an amateur is gonna go ahead and animate this text just using these tools right here and all of these tools over here, like your transform tools and everything. And that is great and all, but what the follower allows you to do is actually to animate text based on either words or characters. So you don't have to animate the entire thing. You can actually animate sections of the text. We have our custom title right here, right click and click follower. Now that we have a follower set, we can go over to modifiers and you can see that we have this follower up here on our, under our modifiers tab. Head over to our transform, and as you see, even though I'm moving these around, nothing is happening, because in order to get this to work, all we have to do is click keyframe. So I'm gonna start with the offset. I'm gonna go ahead and click offset, and it's gonna create a keyframe, and it's gonna create this path for me to follow. Go ahead and click back into the follower, because we can do all of our animating inside of the follower. Now, I'm gonna scrub this back to the very beginning of the timeline, and I'm just gonna bring this down, and now I have a keyframe of just the text animating up. Go ahead and open up your spline up here. If you don't see that, it's just this button up here. Open up your spline editor, and then if you click these arrows, it'll go ahead and put the keyframes that you created right back in the center. Go ahead and highlight these and press S, and that's gonna ease in and ease out your keyframes. So now if we watch this, we have a very simple text animation happening within our timeline. Another cool little trick that you can add to just give a little bit more animation spice, if you will, to your effect is go ahead and press Command T, and that'll open up your ease in and your ease out controls. I like to lock them, and then pull this, and you can see what that's doing. It's just pulling this spline, pulling the spline a little bit more to add a little bit of style to your animation. So let's go ahead and watch that. Now you can see that style to animation. Since we set this up as a follower, and if you look over here in our transform, we set it up as a character follower. So I'm gonna go ahead and click timing, and if I come over here to the delay, I can go ahead and add a delay of about, let's say, a half a second or so. And now if you watch, you can see that the animation is simply delaying those characters in between each other by about a half second. So we have the same animation that we had before, but now we have control over the characters of this text animation. If you want to, you can come up here to automatic and you can click left to right. So now this is just simply a left to right animation. You can also go ahead and do right to left. And so you have a ton of control over just these simple tools inside of Fusion and you can change your animations very quickly and add a really cool custom animations using just the follower. Now, we only used one tool, but inside the follower, you have access to every other tool. You can add a rotation on the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis. You can add a pivot, you can add a shear. You can even change the size based on X or Y. So it gives you a whole bunch of options. And I know it's kind of frustrating that you press this and it doesn't do anything, but again, all you have to do is just add a keyframe. So now that we have this animation set, and let's go ahead, head over to our timing, and let's just go ahead and click left to right for now. So we have this super simple animation, and I'm gonna increase that delay a little bit more, and as you see, as I increase that delay, it also increases when those characters are gonna pop up. And the higher that delay goes, the more, if I wanted to, I can also grab the spline, and I can make this really pop by just increasing that spline. 
Okay, so that is currently our animation. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna dial this in just a little bit. Now the cool thing about followers is you can stack followers. I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the shading effect right now, and I'm gonna go to my opacity. I'm gonna go ahead and just click keyframe right here on opacity on frame 13, go back to zero, and I'm gonna bring this opacity down to zero. Since we set this up as a follower, I can do the exact same thing with the opacity. Grab the spline, press those arrows to center my spline, grab it and press S, and now, that I have this created, my opacity is also gonna be animating in the exact same way as the follower that I created. And I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down just a little bit so it's not so punchy. Now my text is animating in with the opacity and also, and also with the offset. And I'm gonna bring this delay down a little bit so it's just kind of easier to watch and see. And maybe turn down my spline just a little bit on this path. So now you can see as the text is coming up, with that spline and with that opacity, now we're getting both the text and the opacity happening at the exact same time. And I kind of think I've just, I've definitely overdone it a little bit on this animation. So if I want to, I can just grab these and just change these keyframes just a little bit over here. I'm gonna go ahead to my transform. I'm just gonna bring this up just a hair. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spline and I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull these a little bit more just to give them a little bit more pop in the animation. So now we have this custom title. And as you can see, now that we've stacked the followers, we have a really easy, fast animation that we can now go back to our tools. And anything that we change inside of here will also change the animation now. And so now we have full control over these text animations that we had just created inside of Fusion. Now that we have that created, what we're gonna do now is just add a little bit of flair to the text because just a plain white text, just even with the animation being as cool as it is, isn't all that great. So if we come back over into our tools, we have a lot of really cool options that we can still do. Obviously we can change anything inside of this text. We can go ahead and head over to the shading. And here is all the options that Text Plus actually gives you for your text to be able to make really cool things. We can go ahead and just have this be a simple outline, which is awesome. We can even go ahead and turn this into a gradient. And this is kind of one of my favorite things to do is just turn texts into a small gradient like so play around with that and that text I feel like already looks a lot better. Another really cool thing that you can do is you can also stack on a whole bunch of effects after the template. So I'm going to go ahead and just change this back to a solid and I'm going to go ahead and press shift spacebar and add a let's do a soft glow. So let's add a soft glow and then I'm going to go ahead and add another soft glow and all I did was press shift spacebar and typed in soft glow Glow size. Let's bring that up a little bit and this one we're going to go ahead and just bring that down just a hair. So now we have a cool text animation with this nice little soft glow. And now from here, one of my favorite effects that you can also do, and I'm just giving you extra effects that you can do for your text animations, is press shift spacebar and do time. And type in stop motion. Now when you add a stop motion effect, it's going to tell you your frame repeat over here. This is saying that every five frames it's going to repeat and I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to two. That's kind of my general rule that I love. And now we have this really cool kind of staticky, like old school text animation happening, all made with followers. And we can customize this any way that we would like. If we want to do it by words, we could do it by words. And all we have to do is just go into the follower and change it to animate by words instead of animating by characters that we currently have. Now that you understand the tool and how to actually create these text animations, there's one thing that you need to learn in order to be able to use these in all of your projects, and that is to save them from project to project. I have found that instead of making a actual plugin or an actual effect, the easiest thing to do is actually come over here, head back into the edit page, and go over to your media pool. Inside of your media pool, you have this bin called Power Bins. And what a Power Bin is, is every time you open up DaVinci Resolve, everything you put in the Power Bin will always be there. If you don't see the Power Bins, come up here to these little dots right here, right click, and come down to Show Power Bins. Now, in my Power Bins, I like to make a whole bunch of bins of things that I know that I'm gonna be using from project to project. So if I go into my text animations right here, you can see I have a whole bunch of random text animations that I use nearly every day in all of my projects. And in order to save this text animation that we just created right here, all you need to do is grab this and drag it into the power bin, right click it, go ahead and double click it, and you can name this to whatever you want. I'm gonna name this to shiny text or glowing text up. And now 
anytime you open DaVinci Resolve, you will have this exact text effect. You can drag it in. And the coolest thing about doing it this way is you still have access to going into the Fusion tab and changing anything you want because it saves all of those presets that you added to it. Or if you want to, you can even come into here and you can change the title inside of the edit page. So now you can create anything that you like simply in the edit page and now you have these quick, fast, easy text animations that you can recreate over and over and over again inside of DaVinci Resolve. That is how to use the follower node and I think that is one of the most powerful tools inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you guys have any questions on this, please leave me a comment below. And if you want all the text animations that I have created, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the project file below. All you need to do is just open up that project file and then drag the text animations into your power bins and name them however you like. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and love you. Bye.